There were plenty of goals in the Premier League this weekend just gone, but that was in the past, and this is the next set of fixtures. There's some brilliant ones in here, and it's a midweek Premier League set, which I believe is the first of the season, so it's going to be interesting to see how we get on. We got one score correct, which was Arsenal beating Wolves 2-1. But there were so many high score lines. I'm not surprised we only came out with one score. Hope we can get more here. Make sure to like and subscribe. And let's get into it. We start with Wolves up against Burnley. And whilst Wolves have lost their two last games. At home, pretty good. Unbeaten in four. And in that run, they've beaten Man City and Spurs. And drawn with Villa and Newcastle. So some top teams there that they're not losing against. So I don't think they'll lose here, despite Burnley's 5-0 drubbing of Sheffield United. So we are going to go for Wolves to win 2-1. Luton take on Arsenal next. And Luton, whilst they are near the bottom of the table, it's their first time in the Premier League. At home, they are okay. They're not as bad as they are away. And they've picked up a, you know, a pretty fair amount of points at home and away, but... They don't get beat heavily at home. Any game they've lost this season at Kenilworth Road has only been by one goal. They've got a draw against Liverpool. They beat Palace. There's some decent results at home, so they are certainly no pushovers. But we are talking about an Arsenal side that really seem to be coming into some good form. They've got all of their main players back from a few injuries they had earlier in the season. They've won three in a row and they're top of the league. And for that reason, I am going to go for Luton to lose their first game at home by more than one goal with a 3-1 win for Arsenal. To kick off Wednesday, it's Brighton against Brentford. And whilst Brighton maybe you'd expect to be a bit higher in the table considering how their first five games went, they aren't seeming to come into much form with a lot of draws and either winning or losing by the odd goal so far. They always concede. Every game in the Premier League this season they've conceded, so I'd expect both teams to score. Brentford, they've won four out of their last six. They're no pushover, certainly. They are better at home than they are away. Same for Brighton. I think a draw is probably a fair result, but I am going to go for the Seagulls to just click and get something back so Brighton to win it 2-1 Palace face Bournemouth next and this is a tough one because Palace aren't great at home Bournemouth aren't great away and Palace seem to have been taking a few steps back recently they've only won one of their last seven they got a point on the weekend against West Ham but it's not looking great for Palace at the moment and I am a bit worried that with a few key injuries, they could see themselves dragged into a bit of a scrap near the bottom. Now, Bournemouth were a side that were struggling, hadn't won for a while, but they've started to come into some form, unbeaten in three, two wins in a draw, and they did draw against High Flyers Aston Villa at the weekend. Brilliant result. Bournemouth, I've heard, were better for pretty much the whole game. They probably should have came away with all three points. Whether that's just that they're good at home, I'm not sure. But they did win their last away game 2-0, albeit against Sheffield United. It's a tough one to go for, but I'm slightly favouring Bournemouth. But I am going to stick it down the middle and go, probably for the sensible option, a one all draw. Fulham take on Forest, and it's another tough fixture. Fulham were 3-2 up against Liverpool on the weekend, only to concede in the 87th and 88th minute and give all three points away. Poor defending from Fulham to allow that to happen. And it would have been a vital three points, so to not come away with anything will be a bit of a shock to them, considering they scored three goals as well without Mitrovic. You know, they don't do that. And since Mitrovic departed, they have been struggling for goals. So to score three in a game and get nothing out of it will be very disappointing to Marco Silva. Nottingham Forest, three losses in a row. And with talk of Steve Cooper's job at a bit of risk, they will be hoping to get something here. 
especially when those losses have game against the likes of West Ham, Brighton and Everton. They shouldn't be losing all three of them. So it's a bit worrying for Cooper. And that's why I'm going to go for a one-all draw. Sheffield United take on Liverpool. And the news around the Blades is that Paul Heckingbottom has been sacked. It came after two losses against Bournemouth and 5-0 against Burnley. Now losing 5-0 against the side in the relegation zone is always going to have you in trouble. Especially when you're already bottom of the league. So I understand the change. It's going to be interesting to see who comes in. But they might have a bit of a bounce due to them you know, not having Hecking Bottom anymore. Maybe players are auditioning now for the new coach. That being said, they are up against Liverpool, who are second in the league now after that 4-3 against Fulham. They showed in that game that they can, you can get at them, you can score against them, but they will always, always pretty much outscore you if you don't have the quality. And that makes me think that this game will be 3-1 to Liverpool. This is the big one for Villa. A massive test at home, they've won all six so far and they've won about 14 in a row in Premier League fixtures. So it's going to be interesting to see if they can carry on here against Man City. Now City, they haven't been great in the big fixtures this season. They've played against all of the other big six clubs and out of those five fixtures, they've ended up with one win against Man United three draws which came against Liverpool, Chelsea and Tottenham and they lost to Arsenal so they haven't been reaching the heights they usually do they usually win most of those games and it's a bit worrying that they can't get over the line in the big fixtures their problem seems to be conceding too many goals as highlighted by conceding three against Spurs four against Chelsea it's not great viewing from a you know a perspective of how dominant they've been recently so are they going to win the league this year I think if they can't get their act together in the big games that could be up for debate and to be honest in this one brilliant way to measure how good Villa actually are this season and I'm actually kind of going to back them one all Man United take on Chelsea another big fixture Man United were dominated at the weekend by Newcastle, absolutely battered. It was only 1-0 and that scoreline kind of flattered Man United because Newcastle should have got much more. And then Chelsea, you know, a good side at the moment. Yes, they had a bit of a blip against Newcastle and lost 4-1. But their last four fixtures to get seven points from Tottenham, Man City, Newcastle and Brighton is pretty good going. And they're looking up for it. They're looking better. Enzo Fernandez with a brace at the weekend. I'm wondering whether they are going to come into some great form now. Another fixture against the big club. But I'll back Chelsea to win it 2-1. Everton will be wishing they were playing this one away. Because they're much better there. They're actually only bettered by Spurs in the league for away form. And they've played an extra game. You could argue Arsenal are on the same points away and have played one less, but nevertheless, Everton are a good side away. At home, however, Goodison Park has not been very fruitful for them, and that's why I'm a bit worried for this game against Newcastle. Newcastle, in their last four Premier League fixtures, they've beaten Chelsea, Man United and Arsenal, they're looking strong. Somehow out of those four games, they lost to Bournemouth, but they did have quite a few injury issues, and Bournemouth are starting to pick up form. For those reasons, I think I can only go for one winner. It's just a matter of the scoreline. And I'm actually going to go for my first team not to score. Newcastle to win 2-0. And the final game has actually proved to be a bit of a cracker over the past few seasons. I do remember a certain Manuel Lanzini scoring an absolute belter to equalise. It's Spurs v West Ham. Spurs will be a lot happier after their recent display, that 3 or draw against City, because they had lost three games in a row, their first losses of the season. 
that draw should give them confidence because they've got a pretty big injury list and you know they've proven they can do it against the best without all of their players fit West Ham they are unbeaten in three in the league they have been rather favourable fixtures beating Burnley and Nottingham Forest and drawing against Palace so I am going to go for Spurs to get all three points 2-1 and those are my predictions for these Premier League fixtures make sure to get yours down in the comments like and subscribe there's some brilliant games here so let's hope for some brilliant performances